Hey everybody, this is Paul with RC Phone Fighters. Welcome back to the EPP Part Jet Series. Um, this is going to be the sixth and final video in this series. So in this video we're going to do some uh, watt meter testing on the plane and actually get it out to the field and do some uh, radar gun tests and just uh, general flying. So let's get on to the video and see how it all goes. Okay, in the last video we finished moving the tail fins out a little further on the uh, main wing to get them away from the prop and hope to uh, make the uh, airflow a little bit more efficient. So before we head to the park, I want to do one quick uh, watt test on the watt meter and see what it's pulling amps and watt wise. So I'm just going to take the uh, controls and walk up the throttle and see what it's pulling. Okay, it looks like it's pulling a max of 39.76 amps and it's putting out 445 watts. So that's right at the limit of what this motor can handle. Um, and I always run 25C or higher batteries. In this case, I run 30C batteries. And if you haven't tried the higher C batteries, I'd recommend doing so. You definitely get a lot more performance out of your motors. Um, and it's great for uh, making speed planes. Okay, hey, we're back out here at the park for day two uh, flight testing. Um, I added a little bit of weight to the nose to move the center of gravity a little forward. And I also have the new uh, tail fins ready to go. So let's see how it goes. Does it feel more stable? Eighty two. How much? Ninety nine. Look at that. Still can't break the magic. Ninety nine, man. You're like one digit off. How much? Quite good now, dude. I think I got it dialed. Man, <laughs> how much? Let me see that. <laughs> oh. Hey, what happened? I don't know. Hang on. Oh man. Oh, you turned it off. <laughs> I didn't get it on the film. Damn it! One more time, man. I hope the battery isn't dying. Oh, Is the battery dead, Tom? You, you even hump it on? Killing me. <laughs> I love it. All right, you feel it. Switch. 93. Got it. All right, man, let's see if you can do the hunt again. You get that, Tom? Yeah, I got it. That's one mile, man. I don't know what that was, right? I'm going to die. It's good. You recorded 101, right? Yeah, but I didn't see it. Didn't she, I didn't film. get it on film because yeah, she turned film. it off. Before, because right? that thing. <laughs> yeah, come straight at us. 105. Get that, Tom. 105. That's insane, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got that? Yeah, I got it. That's yeah. crazy, dude. It was in the triple digits. <laughs> this is, uh, what, 30 ounces or 31 ounces now? Yeah, the plane picked up a little late. Yeah, but, it's flying a lot, not yeah. good. If I can, you might be 100 pounds. All right, out of juice, coming in for landing. 
Nice landing. Cool. Man. It comes in like a plane way yeah. at 31. Okay. Well, I broke 100. I got to go. Sit there for from the lawn. Yeah, I pulled it off the bottle. Here we go. Nice one. Great. 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 See what happens when it flies slow, dude. Slow, that means like 40 miles an hour, right? How much? Yeah, man. Straight up like a corkscrew, man. Okay, well this will pretty much complete the series on the EPP Park Kit. Um, overall, I would just like to say that this was a very good project for me. Um, I think I pretty much came close to the goals I was shooting for. I finally broke my uh, elusive goal of breaking 100 miles an hour with the um, Park Kit plane. And I think just the overall way this plane flies is really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the videos too. And uh, please check out our blog. I'm going to be posting some uh, free basic templates for this plane if you'd like to try and make your own. Um, they're not full instructions, but it'll be a basic template. So please check that out too on our blog. I'll put a link in the sidebar. And um, I have more videos coming up soon. Um, we've got a couple more projects already started, so please stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. Okay, just a sneak peek at two projects coming up in the coming weeks. Um, first, I'm going to rebuild the FF22 out of EPP foam. And also I'll be starting an experimental plan that my friend Chris back in California helped me come up with the idea. Um, this one's totally experimental. Not sure how this one's going to fly when it's built. But um, this is going to be one of the projects coming up. So please stay tuned.